welcome back for another video in the Uregina 120 series. I'm Jeff Cliff, and I'm this series of videos, as I explained before, uh, is a list of things that I learned uh, while being a student at the University of Regina, uh, which I was from 2002 until 2010. Kind of took the long way to get a uh, four-year degree, but I ended up getting it as a computer science major, uh, and I had a lot of experiences uh, which these videos are, are, are drawing from and hopefully giving you some knowledge that I had to learn the hard way in many cases so that you have you know a little bit of a shortcut to the valuable things that I picked up as a student uh, and so this video is going to be a little bit unlike the last one the last one was uh, a lot more uh, to do with math and numbers and, and things like that. Th this is a little bit of a higher level problem and a higher level issue. Um, so just to be aware, if you're only uh, trying to pull you know, STEM stuff out of this, well actually you're probably the person who needs this video the most. So uh, now as, as some of you may know, uh, for a while I was lucky enough uh, as a student in Saskatchewan to uh, date a farmer uh, for a while. Uh, and one of the things that I, I learned about is the, the kind of view of tornadoes. Uh, in the prairies in Saskatchewan, occasionally these huge storms roll through and the, you know, the, the great uh, you know, power of the wind starts you know, spinning around and you know, lots of property damage happens. You know, occasionally people get killed, etc. Uh, they're very, very powerful things to watch. Um, I, I've been nearby enough of them to be, you know, to, to have, you know, reoccurring nightmares for most of my life based on them. You know, they're, they're these very, very dangerous things. Uh, but to a farmer, uh, they are basically something that comes into your field and harvests or, or takes your crop from you, or at least a portion of your crop. And depending how big the tornado is, it can get even, you know, multiple kilometers big for some of the larger ones. So they kind of view it in terms of, you know, as it being a combine, a great white combine. You know, obviously they're, they're often enough white to kind of earn the name white in that context. Uh, but it's an interesting metaphor uh, to describe something else that happens. Uh, and something that I observed, uh, certainly by about halfway through my degree, uh, but mo more and more uh, throughout my life as it progressed. And this is the, 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 the tendency uh, for the, the environment that I was living in to become more and more stratified in terms of the people involved and their particular uh, characteristics uh, that were not related to uh, things like aptitude, merit, uh, knowledge, and so on. There was a selection effect that slowly but surely happened as I was a student uh, that it, you could barely notice it at first. That, you know, when I first started, I, you know, the, as, as everyone, uh, oh, or, or at least many people in the West kind of experience, you start in an elementary school where the, the gender uh, split is roughly half and half. The, there's a representation of all ethnic and uh, religious groups, at least that are represented in your area. You know, there's, there's a little bit of filtering that happens as people live in certain areas. Byheart has a good video on that. I'll maybe post that in the comments. Uh, and in particular, First Nations you know, kids were in my classes at the beginning. And as time progressed, fewer and fewer and fewer of them remained. By the time I got to the end of my high school, there was already starting to be a selection effect where people were starting to drop out. And they tended not to be the people who uh, were of for First Nations descent. They tended to be people who were in the minority groups, who were the ones that tended to no longer be represented as highly in my particular classes and in my particular uh, field of study. By the time I got to university, this uh, tendency uh, increased in, in, in magnitude. Uh, my first class uh, as a computer science student, uh, I believe, had something like 180 or 110 or, you know, well over 100 people in it. 
but they were mostly engineers. And so most of the people who were uh, you know, native, uh, female, not strictly speaking, you know, your cookie cutter white male, uh, tended to not take the second class. And this was curious at the time, but by the third or fourth class, there was practically no one left who wasn't just e either uh, standard, again, cookie cutter white male, uh, with the occasional foreign exchange student. There was nobody locally, nobody from, from the, the, in the, the, the neighborhoods that I grew up in, nobody from the city that I lived in, everyone was being selected away. Uh, I think that there is a something going on uh, in our education system, in our society, uh, where people are kind of slowly but surely filtered out. Uh, I under or I understand that, especially in computer science, there's some progress being made in more recent years where especially women are starting to get a chance again to bypass some of these filters that are in place. But we have to admit that they're there. We have to talk about openly about them because there is a huge, huge problem in that there are a lot of talented and intelligent people who I are I was friends with, who I you know grew up with, who somehow didn't end up getting the same opportunity that I ended up having, regardless of the particular path taken or that I took, uh, because by the time I made it to the end, I was the only one left. There was me and one other guy who was another, you know, young, you know, white male who made it to the end of this line at this degree. Uh, something went wrong there. The, there's, there's a, a too many people were cut out of that process, um, and you know, yes, some people chose better and bigger things, uh, but a lot of them, for whatever reason, did not get a chance that I couldn't see that I had. Uh, in that in that process, so um, it's important to note that this process does, to some extent, in our Western society, give people a way to identify and associate with each other. Again, this is another way that this feeds back on itself, excluding certain people uh, of certain skin colors from participating. Uh, and it's easy to see yourself as being identified in terms of the filters that this is kind of produced. Uh, you're, you know, when you meet someone, the easiest thing to do is often to introduce you, oh hi, I am the person who does this for a living, or I'm the person who has done this for a living, or I am the person who has this, you know, is this ending my years as a student, or, you know, is, is, is has passed some big filter. Uh, this this is the, 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 the a, a problematic thing because, again, when these filters act on groups of people, which begin as, as more or less you know, equally distributed among types of groups of people, they per in particular let some people through and don't let other people through. And you don't necessarily always filter people based, again, on merit, on knowledge, on skill, or anything of that sort. They often enough filter people based on economic happenstance, on the bullshit, on the that people have to deal with in their life, which again, if you're poor, you end up having to deal with more bullshit, uh, and not as much uh, good things come out of that. And so you're you're basically cut from these, these status levels uh, over and over and over again throughout your life as you progress until, again, there's these you know, results where there's one person left. There's one person who gets the degree, or there's a select few people who get to go to the next step, and one person who gets to go to the one after that. So being aware that these filters and that these systems exist allow you to kind of transcend identifying yourself with them. So you cease to be the person who has this job because some native guy didn't get it. You start being a person who just happens to be in this spot. You, you're not necessarily the, you know, identifying or, or you know, expressing yourself as that person so much as just another side of the same coin, willing to help the people uh, who are un unfortunately caught on the other side. Um, you know that that's an important thing as well. But again, it's, you, you have to be aware that this this selection effect is happening. It's affecting people who you probably you know care about or, or wish were still with you. Uh, but again, it's it's something to keep in mind. 
If this happens, be aware of it. So again, uh, you know, what, what do we do about this? Uh, you know, other than just being aware of it, uh, well, there, there are ways to de-bias uh, parts of the great machine. You, know, you, can, you can start um, looking at the outcomes that are actually happening and seeing if there are ways in, in the specific filters, you know, the universities, are they actually excluding people? Are, the, are the, the, the groups that you are a part of actually excluding people? On the ground, when you are excluding people, you know, is, is this something that is being you know, disproportionately affecting other groups uh, that you may not you know, uh, otherwise approve of? You have to keep these sorts of things in mind. So again, um, it's a big problem. Uh, each individual person is not necessarily going to be able to solve it, but you know, try, try talking about it. Try looking at ways of getting around it. Try looking at ways of reforming, rebuilding, repurposing the systems that are in our lives that separate people from you know the, the equal um, to the you know grossly e unequal uh, outcomes that we have today. So uh, again, this is Jeff Cliff. Uh, Hopefully this has at least, you know, pro provoked some thought. Um, and uh, you know, for for those of you who, you know, were cut out on the systems, you know, I I I, I, I am interested in, in helping you, you know, get through them. Um, this is what we we should be all striving to do. So um, hopefully you enjoy. Come in next video. I'll see you then.